the universe is mine. All your leaders swear in the Bible. 2 Corinthians 4.4. 4. Fuck you. The universe is mine. It's not what you believe. Your creator gave you that blood to make an atonement for your filthy soul. You need to write out on a piece of paper. I intend to bring forth heaven and earth and release this soul from bondage. And prick your finger away from your naked boo-boo. Smear a little bit of your blood on it. And publish a little video to YouTube with the title Blood Over Intent, the tag Blood Over Intent, and the description Blood Over Intent. Only one hundred and forty four thousand. That's the book of life. It's exactly that way for a reason. We want to weed everybody out. We only want one hundred and forty four thousand living beings who see it because the power in that is an act of God or goddess, whatever you prefer. I just want the best of the best. But like I say over and over and over, I'm only looking for one hundred and forty four thousand. So because it's supposed to scare everybody away, only one hundred and forty four thousand. We'll have the heart to see it. Check out Quasi Luminous. Whoa! That guy thinks he's Satan. Yes. Yes. The idea is to embrace the darkness and find your own light. Find your own light. You think this is funny? <laughs> the Pope will remind mind you often. Don't converse at me. I'll turn your head upside down and it will spin, surely. I fucking flat out told you. Quasi Luminous. Yes. Demon influenced. He told everyone. My wife got a bag of demon biscuits like you swallow a church. You know, to take your communion. And she hand wrote out with her own blood every fucking demon sigil there is. And I swallowed them taking the body and blood of every fucking demon. They call me the Prince of Demons, motherfucker. What? Uh huh. Satan. Yes. Oh man, we're so dead. You're a fucking twist. It's hard to be You're a hairy fucking Connor. You went to school, you took your number two shit pencil, the first thing you learned was stone casting. And I'm telling you, you're a fucking twist. It's hard. It doesn't take a genius to figure this out. The sun above your head is Helios. You say, hello, and how's your health? And help! And it's true, you live in hell. It's called an ice cream sundae for a reason. Because it's just another cold day in hell for you. Where the Holy Grail, eternal life, passes into the Garden of Eden. It's literally right over there at the end of every compass. It's a flat earth plane and at the very center is the Holy Grail. Where you will drink from the living waters and get eternal life. Passage into the Garden of Eden and your way out of the matrix. An atheist is anybody who thinks they're on a ball floating through space as an accident right now. Anybody who thinks they evolved from a monkey right now. Anybody who believes in the official narrative is a fucking atheist for sure. So, let's just lay out the facts. Every compass right now on the fucking flat earth plane is pointing to the holy grail where you get everlasting life. 